my man Santiago Ama. Todos los hispanos que están ahí, que están ahí mirando. Santiago Ama es mi favorito jugador para mirar ahora. Either way, what I just said was to all the Hispanics watching, it's my favorite guy to watch. And Santi Alama, God, tonight he had 22 and 14 in the 112-108 game as the Grizzlies beat the Mavericks. All right. And we know Morant didn't, want, didn't play or anything, but damn. And there was no Luka Doncic. We'll shout out Jaron Jackson, who had 28 points. Man was feasting with efficiency, 10 of 16 from the field. Dylan Brooks had nine points, did his thing. Tyus Jones dropped 16 with six assists, 17 from Desmond Bain. But the and Luke Kennard had a cool 10 off the bench, but it was off the bench. The new six man, the guy who's been the six man since the injury to Brandon Clark. All right, over the last few games he's been in my opinion been playing really well for the season he's averaging nine points five rebounds one and a half assists about a block and a steal a game 35 percent from three 47 percent from the field my man santi aldama had tonight 22 points with 14 rebounds five of those were offensive rebounds two assists all right he was an absolute domino for this team and i really think people don't understand how good this guy is he's going to be a stud for this squad and for years to come did the jaron jackson jr dante Adama front court is going to be something that's chef's kiss beautiful all right <clears throat> now for the month of march i know in a weird way he's playing his normal his minutes are actually down his minutes are actually down his shots like not minutes his stats are actually down for the month of march my apology i said that incorrectly he's playing the same amount of minutes he's taking less shots shooting out of less of efficiency all that less points but what we're going like what i think we're seeing is what we've said all this time that santi adama this is a guy who can play either the four or the five he's a playmaking defensive versatile front court player who fits perfectly in the modern style of the nba due to his perimeter skills on both sides of the floor and his decision making and his high level basketball iq a guy who comes from a basketball family a guy who was meant to be a basketball player he stands right now it says right here 215 i know he came into the nba at 220 i've, I've seen i thought he gained some weight so they have him at 215 all right so and best ball reference it has him at 224 so he's he's got a solid weight and it, he looks good in his frame and he's just the guy that i think his ability just his combination and size and skill can't be taught all right and I, I buy into him okay he's got this touch he gets tons of deflections all right and he you know he's never going to be an elite defender but he's the kind of high level defensive instinctual player that you expect who's always going to have a good impact team you know team defense makes the right rotations constantly using his length and keeping his highs hand his hands high and i just think he's going to be someone to fun he's the six foot eleven with like a seven foot one seven foot two wingspan obviously people are because he's white aren't going to think that he's going to be athletic but he's a fluid athlete he knows how to move and use his body and control it really well and he's got a great feel he's obviously someone who grew up with the game of basketball in a basketball family with good coaching he understands feel he knows how to play off ball he cuts off ball into open areas he knows how to relocate to get his shot from the three-point line everything about him about a guy instinctually you go he's a coach's son you know he finds the soft spot of the defense he's exactly knows what his defender's gonna do and take advantage of their mistakes and pounces and the guy's got gloves for hands and he can put the ball on the deck so for me this game is just another example of what santi alama is going to be um hop on the train because it's it's gonna be a fun one and the Grizzlies just have such a good player in Santi that is we've made so many videos about it over you know I have a tag pinned on my Twitter the day he got drafted I've been high on this guy for feels like forever um I'm, I'm telling you if you guys are a fan of this team just just wait because 
any minute now, they're going to just make you feel dumb that you didn't, you didn't, you didn't buy into Santi Alama earlier.